Hi everyone, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Uh, in the last couple tutorials, we just kind of went for the whole shebang and we did everything from beginning to end, uh, the whole process. This one, we're going to be a little bit more specific. We're going to talk about uh, where we put the white on for the wave, for the whitewash. Because to do what I want it to do, the placement's kind of important. But um, I know everyone has a different style. And so we're just gonna go, we're gonna go over three different options that you can do and see which one you prefer and that way you know when you do it yourself. Yeah, and you can modify it, like you can do more clear or less clear if you want clear and then color or the white going through the clear, like you can play with this and kind of have fun with it and generate different effects based off of where you put the white. Yeah, so if you want to figure out how where do you want to put yours, keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, we switched up the angles. We have our piece of wood level. Uh, I have our clear. I'm gonna set off to the side. I like to put a little bit of clear so it's a little bit more manageable. And I'm going to pour it on two thirds of this and then one third I'm gonna leave without any clear, which is going to be a challenge for me, but let's yeah, do how this. Do you even do that? <laughs> you're gonna like stop or you're gonna come back. Ooh, and that's what yeah I guess I'll come back because it kind of drips a little bit I'm gonna do a little bit that works more just because we will make it like extra thick on the side like remember I was talking about like how you can make it thick and then or not <laughs> So what I was talking about is, like, for example, like this little space right here, like there's a little extra clear. So we're gonna add pigmented resin behind this point. And if you put the white in front of that, the white will like blow over it. So you'll have white cells over clear that will go into the greens and blues and whatnot, whereas here, it's not quite as much, and over there, it's going to be like an immediate, like, green with cells over it. At least, that's... <laughs> I know, I'm kind Maybe. of just doing a base coat, <laughs> but this is just a base coat. I don't, I, this piece of wood is beautiful, so I don't want to do it and have it, like, three different waves and it be kind of weird. So I'm going to do a base coat, and then I'll do two more layers on top of it, so this will just add more depth to it. So that's why I'm adding a lot of clear, because I still want to be able to see the wood grain, even though I'm adding, going to add a lot of pigment on top. I'm actually going to add yeah, some that's more. that's a lot of clear. I know. I think you should stop now. Okay. <laughs> I'm stopping. So I'm going to add some of this uh, blue. I actually don't know what it's called, but it's a uh, Brie Port. Just Brie. What is it? Brie Art? Yeah, just Brie. We acquired that. It's a beautiful color. It's a super bright, vibrant turquoise. It's like, I mean, not without getting copyrighted, but... What is that company that makes like watches and diamonds and stuff? I have no idea. It's a Tiffany blue? Huh. Okay. I mean, so, um, <laughs> moving on. Video just got banned. Yeah. Uh, so this one, I'm going to do pigment um, straight here. I'm going to dictate my line and then I'm going to go and follow these lines. And then I'm gonna fill in just my voids that I don't have clear on. Cause again, I still wanna be able to see the wood grain. This is just a base color. 
And we're talking about the placement of the white to create the optimal whitewash. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. I'm just gonna kind of go for it. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And because we're filming a video, this is my white that I forgot to do. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Looks like somebody's about to stir up some more resin. Guess who that is? <laughs> this guy right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you mix like two ounces of resin for me? Or half or an, oh, an ounce of resin? Ooh, yeah, that, that, that's how it works, people. Oh gosh. It's really nice to have somebody here I with mean, you. I'm always here with you. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Every time we do these, I do something... She panics and freaks out. And <laughs> I'm in such a rush to be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a quick video. What does my makeup look like? Oh, I did not. Am I camera presentable? Oh my goodness. Yeah, real funny. It's all about white placement. Guess what I forgot to do? Um, table Yeah. And again, you see, I mix my colors all in one cup. I know people do different cups. To do different colors but again this is just the base color i think the different colors are variable or have a good variety and i'm happy with it so i'm going to spread it evenly all over the board make sure there's no empty spots I'll be down here on the floor mixing present. <laughs> All right, get your sides really well. Or not, if you don't want it to flow over the sides, I like it to flow over. All right, we're good to go. Crisis averted. We have clear. Hey, where'd the rest of it go? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I need it. Ah. Hope that's enough. Well, Again. if not, we have more because I stirred too much. Because she's like, give me more resin, stat! And I was like, okay! And I started stirring resin, and she's like, no, that's too much resin! <laughs> I was like, okay. That's fine. We can use it for, like, coasters or something. Okay, so I'm mixing up my white, my regular alcohol ink white, and my white from the surf shop down the street mixed together really well. I feel like we need Charlie Brown music for this. <laughs> How's that song go? Oh yeah, if you want to hear the Charlie Brown song, you can go to our Instagram account and you can see our Christmas trees all lit up from our last video and the Charlie Brown song. It's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I think this is, <laughs> this is mixed up really well. Okay, so here I didn't do any clear. On um, this section, I'm going to do my regular, the white, the white line touching the clear on and the wood and then on this part I'm going to do the white like in the clear not touching the wood at all I'm gonna try to at least this is gonna be a challenge for me oh, that's for sure good luck. I know this is gonna be a challenge and I've already spilled white right there but that's okay it's like the steady hand challenge <sighs> I know this is a big oh, deal no pressure yeah no pressure Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Here it goes. Here goes. No going back now. And I'm doing the white line. touching the blue and the wood. Yeah, in the clear. And the then, wood, and then in here the I'm going straight hey. in the middle. No, why, why would you do that? Because that's, you know, it's a different effect. Some people want different things. So you can see it. You can still see the line of clear comes down to all the way here. Here, there's no, it's clearer than the white. There's, and then here, the white is touching the blue. Yeah, so, like, some people are, like, amped on this, because when this blows back, there's going to be, like, 
some darkening of the wood from where the resin touches and people are amped on that because they're like oh that's like how the water looks whenever like the water is in front of the whitewash and here it's just like a very clean line and then over here it's like kind of just like bam there's your wave but everybody has their own style yeah all right let's give us a torch and then we're gonna blow it back me okay so <sighs> that's gone look at all the cells that came without the um silicone yeah so initial reaction of everything is i mean it's hmm. kind of as expected so like here's the white going straight into the color so you can see like the blue immediately after the white but then we had a lot of clear behind that so like it's kind of yeah. deferred but it's up here as you can see the blue in front of it that's more and you can see where like it pushed back so like you have to kind of go back and clean this line up a little bit and then line it up and then you can see where we started adding the clear where it's like a little bit of clear and then color all through this spot and then over here where we added extra clear, but we drew the white through the clear, like you get the spots of clears, like kind of like best of both worlds. Fuck, another speech form again. And as far as selling goes, like when we blew it in the clear it like we've got good cells here and this got kind of washed out but generally like this is kind of our jam right here is like that's kind of why we do it how we do it is when we do the white behind the clear in between the clear and the wood we get a lot better like more defined cells although this section over here holy moly like look at the cells like it's just Yeah, so next we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna line it up. Are we gonna line it up? I don't think I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna do two layers on top of this, completely covering it. So normally what we do is like, at this point we'll kind of like, do like a line of white that kind of defines that wave and makes it very like, boom, one wave, boom, another wave, boom, another wave. In this case, we're not gonna do that. We just kind of did this video as a, what happens if you do it this way or that way or that way and it, it helps because you can see how this affects it how that affects it and you know like a lot of people will draw white into the resin and then blow the resin back and you can kind of see it's not as structured in that area like oh, to Andre, I touched it. <laughs> it's just it's different but yeah let me clean it up and I just use uh, an alcohol wipe to do that. And I'll clean up the edges because I don't even know what's going to happen here. Well, it's going to look like a crusty white patch. Yeah, it just got kind of weird. And the fact that the blue, like the blue is further this way. You're pulling it back. But you have blue in front of the white there. Yeah, that's what I, I personally so don't like it. But other people back do. over the color. So that's why we usually have that buffer of like clear before the cover, before the color, because it allows for a little degree of. But yeah, I literally just take my alcohol wipe and I clean it up. Those were sticking out really far. I didn't like them. And I, like I said, I'm gonna do some resin on top of it. So I don't know if it's gonna matter that much, but I still wanna clean it up because I really don't wanna look at it. Even here, I'm just getting into the clear. I'm probably gonna leave all that. I'm okay with all of that. But yeah, some alcohol wipes kind of cleans everything up. But 
but they're still blue in front of the white. It's not ugly. Yeah, no, it's just not our jam. It's just not what, like. not what we're looking for. I kind of like it, actually, but just not what we're looking for. I'm sure I can use it in some other, th- you Why know. Not? Yeah, some other way. I really like the cells on this side, though. Yeah, like without the the clear, like the, the cells are so much more like defined over here. Yeah, and this, when you get tension, you've oh, probably wow, seen me, like yeah, it's bad. It's dimple. really bad. So I'll stick my finger in it. I should have a glove on, but I have my alcohol wipe ready to go. And I'm just going to kind of, I guess I could leave it because again, I'm going to do a layer on top of it. But either way, that should make it go away. Yeah, so if you have anything weird going on with resin, just stick your finger in it. With a glove on. If you have one. If you don't, you're not going to die. I promise. So we're back, and here's some close-ups of that piece. It's the left side. You can see the clear. We drop down below, and we drop the white in over the clear. And it's kind of... I call it mushy. Like you still get the cells and like it still looks good, but it's like mushy. And then we bounce over here where we started doing the white in front of the clear. So you got in kind of that gap there. But like you can see the wood grain and then it goes with the color. And then you come over here. And we focus again. And that's where we drop the color, or the clear, or the white, my goodness, right on top of the color. So you can see like the color kind of came through the white in the front, but we got some pretty spectacular cells. It's kind of a hard piece to gauge just because we had so much clear in the background, because we're gonna go back over it with color, but Maybe that'll give you... Yeah, it gives you an idea of how to do the effects that you want to do when you do your resin wave. Boop. Whole piece. Left. White on top of the clear. Middle. Third-ish is white in front of the clear. And right third-ish is no clear and just white. So interesting. It's all an experiment. We just play with stuff and see what works and throw it at the wall and see what sticks. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, so last step, we did all the resin. We go through and we add a little heat to it, a little torchy torch. see the bubbles kind of popping off because like the clearer it is like and there's fewer bubbles you're just kind of comes out clear and it's better and this is basically how it's gonna lay and we're gonna hope nothing lands in it and we're gonna come back tomorrow and add more to it or something yeah, but this is it for today. So thank you for watching. Check us out on Instagram at Surf Ghetto Resin. Leave a comment below. And wait for our next video. Ooh, more waves on wood. <laughs> hey, that's our jam. Till next time. Peace.